so I think we should talk for a second about bad days. <laughs> Today has been a very bad day for me. I woke up when I was supposed to be clocking in. I'm here, I'm, I'm outing myself, totally outing myself. <laughs> so I'm waking up the moment I'm supposed to be clocking in. I didn't have the correct paperwork at the correct store to get my new person into our system and paperwork squared away for her to start work. I was not able to go to the bank today for the store that I did work at. Um, there's bird poop on my window right where I'm supposed to be looking through. It's a little upsetting. I, um... <laughs> <clears throat> my person who was supposed to be at work at 11 didn't show up till 12.30. So then I not only need to do the sign change, but paperwork for my new person and ring people out and do customer service. Holy crap. And <laughs> Oh, I'm super cute today. I got my eyebrows on. I got my eyebrows on though. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Now normally if I were any other person I feel like that would have really pissed me off today. That would have been really, really terrible. But really though, you know, but I'm not mad. I still had a jolly good time. We still made a buttload of money today. It was great. Still had nice customers, nice people, hanging out. I'm happy I got a job. Holy moly, I'm happy I work inside. What? I did have a little manager moment, a little freak out in the back room. Not a big deal. I think I just needed to eat something. Not a problem. I forgot my lunch today. <laughs> oh God, it was great. Oh, I didn't even have keys to open my store. I need, well I did. I had like the gate key, but none of the other keys. So I had to stop on my other store before I could even get to the other store. I'm like, my goodness, it is a day. <laughs> but I didn't let it like sabotage my mood. And I think that that's um, something that really gets people, like letting it sabotage your mood is stupid. Don't let that happen. Don't let it happen. I think that that's dumb. Like, okay, yeah, all right, so things aren't going the exact way that you plan them to go. No, things aren't, you know, wonderful all the time. And that's fine. We're still having a jolly good time and making fun of everything and laughing and you know, all the other normal stuff that I normally do. Yeah, we were having a blast today. My customers were funny. I was talking all about it too. I'm like, man, I'm having a day. Listen to this. This is hilarious. Ha. Listen to how I pissed this one lady off this one time. Like, we were... <laughs> Don't let the bad days ruin all the stuff. I think that that's terrible. Don't let it happen. Or... Well, I don't have this, or this, or that, or this isn't going right, da 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 So what? Do it anyway. What do you want to do? Alright, let's use our resources. Let's get there. It's not tricky. It's not hard. It's hard to overcome the feeling like you're getting pooped on. Yeah, I understand that. Of course it's hard to overcome the getting pooped on feeling, but whatever. It's okay. Don't forget, like, that one, this is just lipstick. Two, in my head, I have to remember, hey Lisa, this is just earrings. <laughs> but you're right, it is. <laughs> stuff I forget, just stuff I forget sometimes. And, and it's all right, it's all right to have the bad days. I like the bad days the most because then they really start showing me who I am. How far have I come? What do I need to work on? Is it patience? Is it understanding? Is it training in a certain area? Is it self, not self-value, you know, where you work on yourself and your 
put time into yourself. I forget what the word is for this. There's a word. Is it uh, leadership skills? Do you need to work in that area? Like, you know, it shows me where, where I'm lacking still, I think. So I try to be as organized as possible. So when we have, when I do have these, oh my gosh, crazy pants days and they're awful or like my self-esteem is in the gutter. <laughs> um, that way it's not as bad. It could be a lot worse if I were not organized. It would be a lot worse if I had stuff everywhere all the time. Uh, oh, here's this. On top it off, as I'm trying to get my clothes on, they're all wet. Everything is wet. I did a whole bunch of laundry yesterday. But the only thing that I really dried was all of Phil's stuff. So all Phil's clothes, he doesn't even work today. All of Phil's stuff is perfect, clean, dry, and wonderful. My stuff, on the other hand, is still wet and in the laundry room. So I'm piecing together pants that don't even fit, a shirt that's way too tight. <laughs> I'm still looking red, white, and blue though. Like, I'm still killing it, y'all. Love it. <laughs> I mean, I'm scraping it together today. And instead of like letting stuff push me over the edge, I'm just laughing about it. Like, I'm for real just laughing about it and having a good time. <sighs> and I don't even know what it is that helps me do that. Maybe not taking stuff so seriously. Not really sure. Maybe, you know, realizing in one week is this right now going to matter? No. Like next, what is this, Monday? Next Monday? What's happening right now does not matter. Not even close. I mean, sales, yeah, yeah, But all things being equal, like that I'm having a crappy day, is it going to matter? No. Okay, great. In, in five months, is it going to matter that today was a poopy day? No. And next year, I'm not even remembering. Let's be real. Yeah. Um, same thing that I kind of keep in mind when I get upset in my personal life. Like, is, let's for instance, um, not that this happens, but let's say Phil were to leave the shower curtain. Oh, he does do this. Phil leaves the shower curtain open. I don't like that. I like it to be shut. But every day when he leaves it open, am I going to have a freak out about it? No. Am, am I going to let, like on a day like today, when I go home and I go to the bathroom and there the shower curtain is wide open, am I going to get all upset and bent out of shape? No. Because in five years is it gonna matter that he leaves the shower curtain open no what matters is that he comes home every night uh, what matters ha. Uh, you know he sleeps in my bed right yeah so little things to kind of keep crap in perspective I guess is something that um, something that that I really like about these bad days. <laughs> hi guys, good to see you both here. Helen, always wonderful. I'll see you in a couple minutes. Katie, hi. Oh yeah, I want a brat with some like spicy brown mustard mixed with some normal mustard. I know, all my 4th of July, I'm looking good today. Right, I don't know how. This is literally the only thing that was blue and red that I had that, that was dry. I know, I did all Phil's laundry. I'm so nice. I, I'm not even complaining about it. Like, <laughs> I think as a woman, laundry is one of my duties. I'm one of those. I don't think I'm really, as a female, I shouldn't have a job. That's how I think. Oh, the mustard. <laughs> Mustard's one of my favorite things. I would eat mustard fingers. Um, if you don't know what mustard fingers are, they're the same thing as peanut butter fingers. You know, you dip your fingers into the peanut butter and eat it. Same thing as mustard fingers. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah. So that's what I got. I'm really digging this 30 day challenge. No job, housewife club. I want to be in the housewife club. I'll get there one of these days. Yeah, 
yeah so keep that in mind like I think bad days are only there to show you where you're at they are there to keep to help keep you keep it all in perspective and I don't know crap you just don't need to be getting bent out of shape about and is what's pissing you off right now or going bad right now or you know all the junk that's right in your face right now is it gonna matter in one week is it gonna matter in five months is it gonna matter in five years if the answer is no I think you can probably laugh about it <laughs> instead of going <laughs> ripping out your hair and getting all cranky and flying off the handle just my two cents it's my two cents y'all I hope this helps somebody you guys are great and I will talk to you guys later bye